Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks for joining me today. I am sharing a couple things I got in the mail today. I got uh, my last order uh, from Stampin' Up! for the celebration event. Um, so I did pick up a few things um, which allowed me to qualify for another one of the celebration items and um, pick up a few things that I was in need of. So I picked up a few clear blocks. Um, this is one that I didn't have um, on hand. So I picked up this one here. It's the G block. Um, so it's really good for little sentiments. So I really like the scent the uh, Stampin' Up blocks and the um, grips that they have. So I uh, thought I would grab one of those. So that's really nice. Peel that off of there. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> so grabbed one of those. And then I also grabbed a couple other sizes as well. Um, this one here is the H block. And this one's really nice too. And then I also grabbed the D block, which I really like this size. It fits really nicely in my hand. And again, I really like the edges of the blocks um, from Stampin' Up. So they, they're they more similar to a wood block um, with the little grooves there. And uh, so I really like how they, they fit in my hand. And I've been having some trouble with my thumb here lately. Um, it's really, really sore right there. So I thought, Picking up a few of these blocks that are a little bit easier for me to hang on to might be a good idea. Um, so, got those. So again, this is the H block. It's uh, actually nicely engraved there with the the block size, and then with Stampin' Up on, on the side, the other side. Um, I also picked up this cute little um, embossing folder, and I th think um, this is one that Jill shared recently as well. This out of here and show it to you. So it's this cute little petite floral one. And this is really thick. Oh, it's a 3D embossing folder, that's why. So it's really extra, extra thick. But I thought this was really cute actually. Um, just petite little florals. And I'm really into the petite, um, petite floral prints lately. Um, like the papers that I picked up the other day from scrapbook.com were like little small floral calico type prints. Um, I'm really into those lately. Um, this is the celebration item that I qualified for for this order. And so you got a free, a free item when you purchased $50 worth of product. So I chose this one. So I thought this little girl was cute. Very, very cute. And I like the little sentiments here. So catching butterflies. And then I picked up some um, paper that I was out of. So I just picked up this really pretty, um, I don't know, springy color palette. So there's Bermuda Bay, which this color is really pretty. Bermuda Bay, um, Mint Moroccan. No, sorry, Macaroon. Um, cinnamon Cider pretty color too. Uh, just Jade. Well, good grief. Can they all be upside down? <laughs> just Jade. Another really beautiful color. Love that color. And then finally I got Pool Party. So, and I was completely out of this soft blue. Um, I like the aqua blue better than like the baby, the powdery baby blue. Um, so I, I like this color a lot. So, Anyways, those pretty colors came in today. I also bought myself a, this is not necessarily crafty, but uh, maybe you can appreciate it. I bought myself some new slippers. <laughs> um, these slippers are amazing. They're from Clark's. Uh, you can find them on um, Amazon. Um, you can also find them at your Clark's dealer. Um, but these are the fleece lined insides and I don't remember what the name of them in name of them is Nancy's. <clears throat> I was gonna say Ashley, but they're they're the Nancy. <laughs> so I love these, and uh, I love the smoky blue. Um, the previous pair that I had, um, I just about well, I did wear them completely out. Um, they were a really beautiful beautiful olive green, and then last fall I ordered me a pair of these blue ones to replace those green ones and Oliver has taken to them. So um, now that I think he's done chewing on shoes, I ordered myself a new pair and I think they're so pretty and can't
can't wait to wear them. So there's those. And then also <clears throat> came in the mail today. Um, I did order some things from Spellbinders. Um, so I picked up this large die of the month from July 2021. And uh, this was because of the cards that I got in the mail recently. Let me go grab it. <clears throat> Is because of the card that Lonnie sent me recently. So this is the die set that she used. So I was able to find it on the Spellbinders website. And I did leave a link to it also um, in the video where I shared the cards that Lonnie sent to me, but I'll leave a link to it in this video as well. It's a really beautiful die set and it's the mini slimline size. So, and you get other things in it too, not just the frame dies. Um, this says happy birthday. This lets you create an envelope, two different size envelopes maybe. Um, actually, maybe just one. This would be the long flap and this is the short flap. And then it comes with some flowers and leaves and little embellishments. So kind of a nice little um, set to have actually. So I'll leave a link to that down below. And here's again that beautiful card that Lonnie sent to me. <clears throat> I also picked up this one here. This is the hem Hemstitch Rectangles. And so I didn't have anything like this in my stash. And then I also picked up this one. It's called the Gathering Basket. There was a Gathering Basket from Tonic that I've been wanting to get. Um, I wonder if this is... I bet this is a very similar design because I think Susan used to design Tonic dies. But anyways, this is a really cute little basket. And then I picked up this Precision Layering Mini Slimline A and B. So that I have all the layering pieces for the mini slimline card size, which is this card size here, and it's uh, really fun to make cards that, that size. So it'd be nice to have dies on hand. And that's it um, for my mail call today. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until we chat again, take care. Bye!